So, what and why is a champions network needed? My name is Janet Robb. I'm a business applications CSM, customer success manager, and I've been creating champions networks for over 16 years. I want you to think about a time when you have been involved in a change. How did you hear about that change? Was it through an email, through a town hall? How did it make you feel? Were you nervous? Were you worried? What did you want to do? Who did you want to talk to? I know when I've been involved in a change that the first person I want to speak to is somebody else who's been involved in that change. So it might be my colleagues, my peers, my friends, or my trusted advisors. And this is where a champions network is into its own. Now, first and foremost, you don't have to call it champion. You can call it subject matter experts. You can call it advocates. It doesn't really matter what you want to call them. But what it means is they are a group of people who are recognizable, who you know, who are colleagues and friends and people that you see walking about. And these individuals have been trained on the change. They know exactly what the change means to you, to them, to the organization, and what is the risk of them not changing. They're also there to provide feedback to the program managers and the sponsors, because they want to hear and understand how the change is affecting everybody and what's really happening on the ground. They will also be able to identify business challenges and possible solutions, because the champions are you and me. They understand the processes as they are and understand what they're meant to be and they can identify if they're ever wrong. The champions are there to build a circle of influence about this change, to encourage, to motivate, to get us to adopt the change quicker. They're also there to bring the new ways of working to life. It's really, really encouraging when you're able to see a colleague, a friend, somebody just like you, being able to, to adopt the new technologies and the tools and the processes we know we learn best when we learn from our colleagues. They're also there to provide resistance training, and that's a big word, what does that mean? So resistance training is change is difficult and is hard and can be upsetting, and people sometimes show resistance in many different ways, and the champions are there to support us through this journey. So who should the champion be? I've often seen a champion be and dedicated to the IT department. Now, that doesn't have to be the case because a champion, remember, they're going to be trained on how the new processes work and we have to be able to recognise the champions. First and foremost, a champion needs to be enthusiastic, passionate, encouraging and motivating. It is really, really difficult not to get on the change journey train when you have been surrounded by somebody who's passionate about the change and enthusiastic. Thank you.